Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is on YouTube. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create chapter markers for videos on your YouTube channel. YouTube chapter markers break a video up into sections. As you hover your cursor over the scrubber line, you will see individual previews for each section. You will also see the chapter markers along with the preview as you drag the scrubber. And here's how it looks in the YouTube app on an iOS device. As you drag the scrubber, you can see the chapter markers along with the preview, making it really easy for users to get to the exact part of the video they want and to get more context and info from each video. The YouTube chapter markers are automatically generated from timestamps. So you see this first one's intro. If I hover my cursor over the first section, you're gonna see here it says intro. If I just click on the timestamp, it's gonna jump the cursor right to that section. You'll see how to enable system capture coincides with the timestamps. Timestamps are added in the description box of your YouTube video. In order to generate chapter markers from your timestamps, your first timestamp must be at zero, zero. So I'm gonna type in zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. You read that as zero minutes and zero seconds. If you have really long videos in the hours, you can go hours as well. So I could do colon zero zero and that would read zero hours, zero minutes and zero seconds. But I'm just gonna keep it at minutes and seconds. Tap the space bar to add one space, then type in a title for your first timestamp or chapter marker. So the first requirement is that the first timestamp must be at zero zero. The second requirement is that you must have at least three timestamps and the timestamps need to be in ascending order. So you start at zero and you count up. They can't be out of order. And the third and final requirement is that each section or each chapter marker must be at least 10 seconds long. And to demonstrate the 10 seconds, if you look here, the first timestamp that I have is at zero, zero. The second one is at the 10 second mark. So there's 10 seconds between the first and the second and all of the other ones, there's at least 10 seconds between them. So if the second one was at zero nine, a chapter marker would not have been created. Now I could have had it at 11 or I could have had it longer, but there must be at least 10 seconds between each timestamp. My name is Mike Murphy and that is how you generate chapter markers on your YouTube videos from the timestamps in your description box. Cheers.